do is we take this one, we go here, around, and if you need a little bit of tautness or you want to kind of thin it a little bit, you can kind of pull it. And of course I broke it. That's okay. Alright, so since that broke, I'm going to roll out another piece and come back and do this again. Since we're still a little bit softer and uh, safety solvent, you can see that I can mush it back up and I'm able to roll it again. Like I said, some other uh, baby powders won't allow that. Alright, so I'm going to roll that up, we'll come back, um, I'll put that strip over there, and then I'll, we'll kind of go over what we do next. Alright, so I put on the other strip, so as you can see... We have the basic piece here now, okay? It's pretty much there, but it's a mess over here, which is fine. Basically, at that point, we take some of our A's, some of the safety solvent, and we kind of just even this out. Now, I push it down, I smooth it out, but we're still a mess. But that's okay. So, what we do is we take our X Acto knife. Alright, now, this is uh, one way of doing it, so I, I would let this dry overnight, and then tomorrow this is all hard, and then what I'll do is I'll sand it down, but I'm keeping this bottom here, and I'm keeping that taunt there, and then I can start sculpting in my wrinkles, my pulls, the knot, and going around. Um, you know, if you, if you feel that you don't like a certain area and you want to work it a little bit while it's like this like uh, if you want to pull that down or if you wanted to you know pull this around a little bit more you didn't like it going too far um, you know if you wanted to bring it in a little bit too you can kinda of cut it Alright, so that's the basic shape. We, we pretty much got the, where it's going to go, how it's going to work, and then uh, the next step is working out all the wrinkles. And like I say, the reason I'm doing it is because you have a nice gap under here. As you can see, I can put this under here, but it's a little bit more realistic now. It's, it's more, instead of shoving it in there and then looking underneath and you see it all filled in. Of course, you got to worry about the paint, but you know we have a nice shadow under here. And then I could build out all the wrinkles going around and even sand this down, sand this down, and then fill my wrinkles. So everything's going to be all wrinkly up in here, but then as it comes out here, we work it. And then after that, what I have to do is work out a knot, and then I work out uh, pieces. So like the next step is when we're ready to do the next piece, we do the same process, but then we would take a piece and you can kind of, you know, wrinkle it, you know, and you can hold it and you can do stuff like that. You know, or if you really, really work it, you, you can actually sit there at night. And as it really starts to harden, you can have it, like, wave. But since, like, Aves isn't really um, good for that because it snaps, that's something you want to do with Magic Sculpt. So we'll see what happens once I get to all this done. And I just like to work in, you know, in pieces and just keep building it up and going from there. So that's where that's at now. Uh, it gives you an idea of what we're doing. And like I said, we'll come back next after the, you know, tomorrow it dries up and I sand it down and I start doing all the wrinkles just to show you. Like I say, it's one way. You can do one whole big strip, 
and wrap it around if you didn't have to sculpt wrinkles. If it was something that was like a skirt where you needed it nice and taut, you can actually build it around and just let it sit. And then the next day you can sand it and you can add more and stuff like that. So uh, we'll be back tomorrow once this is done and I sanded it down and then we start sculpting our wrinkles and show you how it all comes together.
Okay, so we got the sash pretty much all sculpted up as you can see. Still a little wet. We got to wait till next tomorrow till I can sand it down in certain areas, smooth out this area around here a little bit, and just go with it. So it just makes life easier with A's and with making a custom statue to get away with this. Now, if you're going to mass produce this statue, you can't do this because, you know, when you make a mold, all the mold goes underneath there, and then when you pop it out, it rips and it tears, and you can't do that. Then you got to worry about the painters getting underneath there, and you can't do it. So that would actually be filled in, you know, like at an angle at least a little bit. But with me, I can get away with it, and I can have these gaps and all that stuff. Uh, so, you know, I understand why, you know, companies, you know, when they produce, you got to figure out all that stuff. You got to factor that in. One of a kind customs, you can do whatever you want because the painter can actually get in there and do that for that one statue. So, uh, now in theory, the statue sash is this thick. So then when it wraps around here, is the sash going to be that thick coming around? No, because what I'm going to do is, next step is I'm going to sculpt the symbol. I got my extra A's. I'm going to roll that out, and then I'm going to use the uh, baby powder. We'll come back in like an hour or so once it's hardened up. I'll start working on the symbol so this way when I'm ready to do either a knot or just the sash pieces coming down, and then I can push the symbol on it because the symbol can act as the, like, the tie for it. And then I can just wrap it all around and it works out. So we'll see what happens, but let's work on the symbol first, and then uh, we'll come back after I sand it all down in another day or so, and we'll just keep uh, working on it. Alright, so at this point, it's uh, been a few hours. This is pretty hard as you can kind of see. It's still uh, bendable, but that's kind of where I want it. So usually I just put the exacto in some of the A's. And I kind of just want to cut out the shape. Now it's okay that it's semi still thick because I'm going to do a little bit of a sand work on it. And. Some extra stuff so it's just a matter of getting a basic shape it doesn't matter if the idea is to keep it bigger than what I'm actually going to do all right so it's really off it's not perfect but that's basically the shape that I want as you can kind of see. Because once this hardens up, you keep it on a flat surface. Once it's hardened up, I sand it down a little bit. And then I sand down the edges and I get it to where I want it. And then what I'm going to do is, basically, I'll throw little nicks into the corners like this. But I'll do a sand. Little nicks like that. So you do the three prongs. Going here, 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 and here, and you get that little bit of a symbol for a thing. So we're just going to let this sit for the night, and then uh, tomorrow just start working on it some more.